Whether you're looking to burn off all the delicious dinner and brunch you've been eating in Lisbon, or just want to really get to know this beautiful city, walking around Lisbon is by far the best way to do it. Located in the Baixiciado neighborhood that was flattened during the Great Earthquake of 1755, the Praca do Comercio was thoughtfully designed and rebuilt to be the modern center of the city. Here you'll find an incredibly large regal square, flanked on three sides by shops and restaurants, and the fourth side by the Tagus River. In a city with as many hills as Lisbon, there are no shortages of beautiful vantage points looking out over the picturesque red roofs. Those with the best views looking over the city do require a bit more of a walk, but you can find a great Miraduro in every neighborhood of Lisbon. Santa Justa Lift has a somewhat similar history to the elevator to Bica. It too was originally built in 1902 to help people from the lower Lisbon neighborhood of Baixa reach the higher one of Barro Alto. While Lisbon doesn't have any beaches in the city, it does have a lovely riverfront to relax at and step away from the hustle of the city. A particular favorite spot of ours along the river was the Cuiosk Ribeira das Nós. It's a bumping outdoor lounge with great music and even better views. A local UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Tower of Belém is a stunning, castle-like fortress on the banks of the Tagus River. It is easily accessible by public transit from Lisbon, making it one of the top things to do in Lisbon in two days. Entrance is actually free with the Lisboa card. It was built for the Portuguese World Exhibition, 1940, which commemorated the 800th anniversary of the independence of Portugal and the 300th anniversary of the Restoration. The illuminated fountain was also built at that time. An Instagram hotspot if I've ever seen one, but how can you resist snapping a pic at this crazy pink street? Historically. This part of town was actually the red light district of Lisbon and a meeting ground for sailors, local criminals, and prostitutes. However, in 2011 the city decided to revitalize the neighborhood and chose to paint the street pink as part of the campaign. Tram 28 is the most popular route as it hits many popular tourist destinations and takes you right through the heart of the city up into Alfama. If you have at least a few days planned in Lisbon, make sure to spend one day taking a day trip into this medieval castle lover's paradise. Lisbon attracts a serious party crowd. If you're looking for nightlife here, it's not too hard to find. Filled with bars and giant clubs that spill onto the streets until the wee hours of the night. <laughs> 